Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. I missed you yesterday. Oh boy, I would have much rather be with you guys. Let me tell you. I'll tell you all about it after. But anyway, and today we're going to continue with the clearance. Woo! So up to 50% off sales on things you've already seen. We move fast. If you need measurements that I don't give, just let me know. Oh, there's my book I was looking for. Sorry. Look, a squirrel. <laughs> All right, if you'd like to purchase anything, pause the video here. It will tell you exactly what to do. Okay, let's go. We've got the bottom of this bin. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I worked with Hubs yesterday on job site. We own a garage door company. For those of you who don't know, this is cute. Gold tone, little cuff bracelet coming in at, I'd say a six and three quarter you guys you can probably oh boy i don't have numbers i'm running late today i put it in the community tab so i like ran in the house it's like four o'clock here <laughs> turned on the thing i'm like i'm going all right here we go two dollars um anyway i was working with hubs we were working about an hour from home um that's not totally a big deal for us we drive like crazy so um Gold t light gold tone uh, bracelet. Is there wear? No, I think it's just a light gold tone. It's very pretty. What does that say? Made in, oh boy, we're supposed to be going fast, Julie. Fast. Made in Italy, 925 Mylor. Hmm, I don't know if this might be a fibber. Yeah, it's magnetic, you guys. Okay. All right, let me give you a length. I just said I wasn't going to measure, but I do want bracelets and rings, I guess. It's a seven and a half, you guys. Seven and a half. Oh, goodness gracious. I can't pick it up. Let's do $3 on that one. Yeah, so we're about an hour away from home, and I drove in his truck with him. Usually I'll follow and help and then head out. But since it was a little bit further, oh, it's cute. Gold tone. It's a locket. Long gold tone chain. Um, let's do four bucks. So anyway, while we were on the job, the new garage door opener was bad out of the box. Which doesn't happen very often, but we messed around with it and messed around with it and got on with tech support and tried to fix the problem. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, it didn't fix the problem. It looks like there's a little bit of wear there. Two dollars. Um. So it took tons of time and killed our timing. And yeah, I didn't make it back in time for you guys, which made me so sad. So it was not going to happen again today, even though boring job did get in the way. I did do my nails first, but then I had to do boring job stuff. Well, I went to get my nails done. Okay, uh, post earrings, like a pe peachy pink enamel, silver tone, two bucks. Those are nice, those should be signed. They're not, they should be. Dane Craft silver tone brooch. Is it silver tone or sterling? Let's see, sterling, I, uh, it's gonna be sterling. It is, guys, Um, I can't, oh, I'm just gonna test it. I know it is, though. Uh, let's see. We have some faux pearls. This is a lighter set, you guys. Um, like in a pinky color. It's hard to see on there. They do have some pink to them. Um, three bucks. It's a long strand. So, yeah. So, we have to go back to the job, which really stinks because it's far away. But that's all right. Things happen, you know. You have to roll with the punches. Big time. <laughs> Look at this. It's so cute. All right. It's like a little like lariat style um, necklace. It's ivory enamel dogwood flowers. Uh, gold tone. This is a nice, really nice shape, you guys. All right. Let's go $5 on that one. So what else has been going on? I did some grocery shopping on the way home. I wanted to get back to you guys, but I have no food in the house, so I had to do that. J. Crew, 
blue and like a brass color. It was $8, guys. I will go $5 on that one. Yeah. So anyway, anybody else cringe every time they're <laughs> in the grocery store? You know what's the worst? I did self-checkout and everything you ring it goes $4.99, $6.99, $8.99. I'm like, lady, I don't know how you don't have a fist through your computer. <laughs> right? Because the belts are so high, right? This is not in that great of shape, you guys. Um, unless it's sterling. Alex Anani does do some sterling. Oh, nope. I thought that was going to tell me it was sterling. Hold on. Let's see if it's, it's not magnetic. Okay, I'll test that one just to see. Remember, everything that I said I'm going to test, I'm going to show in the video on Tuesday before we look at anything else. Uh, post earrings, gold tone, super cute. I feel like these are Trafari, but maybe not. I might be making that up. I think I'm making it up. <laughs> Two bucks. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. So what else are, oh my gosh, you guys. Am I going to remember tomorrow? I need to remember. You guys will not even believe what happened. Dad was cleaning purses for me, right? And um, he was cleaning out the inside zip pocket and he reached in and way down low, like in, it was a big pocket. I don't know how deep, whatever. Reached way in, you guys, and there was a velvet bag, like a velvet jewelry bag with a jeweler's name on it. I am not kidding you. I am not kidding. Okay. So he pulls it out. You guys, there was a little um, Ziploc bag in there and there was a diamond, a loose diamond. I am not kidding. Can you believe this stuff? I will try my hardest to have it to show you. I have it downstairs. Um, they sent me a picture, mom and dad, and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. These are cute little vintage clippies, two bucks. I had asked $3 on those before, but yeah, can you believe that, you guys? And then last week, last Thursday, I think it was, I picked up some purses. I had told you about it. And one of the wallets had a $20 bill in it. I was like, oh my gosh, the purses keep on giving today. This is really cute. I had asked, guys, I just yawned. I apologize. I'm super tired. I was yawning in the grocery store. <laughs> I had asked $6, $3 on that one. I'm not going to do it again. It's not going to happen again. Not going to happen. So I'm still reading the Outlander series. I went back to them. I told you guys. But I also started listening to a book today because Outlander I had to read. Um, have not have the audiobook. This is so cool. Why didn't you guys buy this? It's so cool. Look at it. It's so neat. It's all little like sequins. Isn't it so cool? Somebody buy this thing. Oh, does it have a name? Cadoro. Cadoro. Never heard of it. All right, let's go four dollars. So I started listening to this book on tape. Um, there's two in the series. The first one's called Fourth Ring Wing Cheapers. Fourth Wing. And it's a fantasy with dragons and all kinds of stuff. You guys, I'm like enthralled already. Um, it's set at like a dragon riding high school. This is really cute. Memory wire, faux pearl. It looks like a little acorn. Let's go $3. That's really pretty. Um, remember, memory wire will fit anybody. Now, I have very big wrists, you guys, unfortunately. So look, even on Julie Mammoth wrists, Okay, it still goes on. Oh, it's Liz Claiborne, by the way. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, yeah, anyway, I've been gabbing a lot. Sorry, I missed you guys. So yeah, it's really good. Um, so far, super, super good. My lash girl recommended it. We usually talk about books the whole time. Um, nephrite. These are Nephrite Gold Tone Cufflinks. Very pretty. Three dollars. Yep, three dollars. Uh, hold on. Let me grab another handful here. Okay, you guys. Tomorrow is the purse sale. 
Now, because I've been doing clearance all this week, I decided to kind of carry that over into purses. It's not clearance per se, meaning you haven't seen the stuff, okay? So it's not bags that you've seen and then have been marked down. But it is clearance in the fact that it's a lot of brands or unbranded items that were in a purse slot that I was buying for other things, if that makes sense. There's a couple of rehab purses. Um, so anyway, so they're like a little bit less expensive brands and everything is going to be $15 or less, okay? And then there's gonna be a purchasing matrix. I haven't totally worked it all out. This is a disaster. <sighs> Okay, it's 1946. It looks like it's a couple layers. Okay, if you want to buy that mess, $2. So anyway, um, I think there's going to be some kind of purchasing matrix. Like if you buy one the $15 items, because there will be wallets and things that are less. But if you buy two $15 items, they like go down to $13 a piece or something like that. And if you buy three or more, they drop to $12 a piece as many as you buy, something like that. Something like that, something the more you buy, the more you save. Gold tone, it's an eight and a quarter. I had asked seven, um, it's marked Taiwan. Let's go five bucks, super pretty. It's in very nice shape. Okay, next. Okay, ooh, we have a ring guys, a little sterling ring. So definitely watch tomorrow's purse sale. It's gonna be fun. Oh, and we're gonna go through a lot. Like, I don't even know. There's a lot in the pile, maybe 40. That's a lot. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. We're gonna move. I'm not gonna stuff them as much. Yeah, it's gonna be fast, like clearance. Okay, this is sterling silver. Um, it's a clatter ring. It's size six and three quarter, uh, eight bucks. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be super fun and I can't wait. And I'm also honestly hoping that it's a little bit quicker to film. That would be amazing because I didn't get to film today for that. All right. Again, why didn't you guys buy this? It's so cute. Okay. Faceted um, acrylic with this amazing clasp. Does that say Japan or nothing? Scratches. <laughs> All right, it has a drop of eight and a quarter inches. Hmm, let's go five dollars. Eek, that one hurt. That one left a mark, you guys. Um, okay. One of you lovely sent some jewelry for the puppers and it is here and I didn't get to look before I came upstairs, but I am so excited to look tonight. This is stretch, let's do two dollars. Can't wait. Calling through jewelry is my favorite thing. Yeah, I think I'm clever too. Did you hear pawing? It's for the doggies. Pawing through jewelry. Oh yeah. Soda light. It's a long strand. Let's do, let's see. Um, eight dollars. Nice piece. What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Anything good? I realize that Hubs and I aren't out in public very, together very often. <laughs> Isn't that a weird thing to think about? I drove a lot today, so you think about a lot of weird stuff. We spend tons of time together at home, but we don't go out in public a lot together. I'm in public way more without him. Oh, I'm wasting time. I know this will fix itself, but it's not. Okay, we have to take it. It's gold tone um, with ivory acrylic. It's really cool. It's got a little... You gotta flip this around. No big deal, it will happen. Uh, three bucks. Yeah, I was thinking about it, I'm like, hmm. I'm never go in public with him, it feels like. I mean, yeah, occasionally like a Home Depot trip, but I grocery shop on my own, which I hate, by the way. How many of you hate grocery shopping? How many of you got so used to not having to do it during the pandemic, like just picking up? This girl did. <laughs> These are really cute, you guys. Red, white, and blue. I need these for our um, swap we did. What is it called? Collab. I like my nails. Hmm, I really do. Do you want to see this one? This nail has a tumor. <laughs> 
It's not a tumor. <laughs> what movie? What movie, guys? It's not a tumor. Um, okay, here we go. Look at, got a little bit of extra, you know, a little bit of extra shellac polish. <laughs> I don't care. I'm totally teasing. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, three bucks. Vintage rhinestone earrings. Three dollars. So I'm kind of rushing because if we get through the bucket, we can also get through the rest of the $3 bin and the $8 bin that are left. This is cute. Um, ooh, maybe some light wear. $3 bin and $8 bin that are left from the 12 days of Christmas. $3 on that one, you guys. Which would make me very happy. It would clean something else off my desk, which makes me really happy. I can't get these out. Okay, there we go. What are you? Sarah Cove, maybe? Oh, yeah, they are. Well, I cheated. It said it on the bag. Don't think I'm that good. <laughs> Silvertone, Clippy, Sarah Cove. Some little yellowing right there. All right, two bucks. Okay, what are you? How many times is this uh, video do I say that? What are you? Little kangaroo, it's missing a stone. Da, 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 da. Just kidding, sorry. I had asked two, we're going one dollar. One dollar. Somebody buy him, give him a new belly. He needs it. All righty, gold town necklace. Again, I remember this one, it's all tangled. It's like wrapped around, it comes out. Uh, here we go. Super cute. Let's go $3 on that one. Okay. Can you believe we found a diamond in a purse? Like, how does that even happen? All right, you guys. This, let's, is it a fibber? I'm going to test this. I think it is sterling, but let's test it. We have this little uh, wreath, gold tone, kind of braided-ish, uh, two bucks. I had asked four, in case you didn't see that. Someone wanted to buy this piece forever ago, and then I never heard from them again. And then I set it aside forever, so here it is. It's a vintage, and it is so cute. Um, these are acrylic, super pretty, three bucks. All right, we've got this little lady, little ballerina. Oh no, ballerina lost her arm. <laughs> a dolla. <laughs> her arm broke. It was a particularly bad fall from a lift. <laughs> I don't know. Is this, I always get confused, guys. So is this abalone or is this mother of pearl? I think it's mother of pearl, but that looks like abalone right there. And it's got some glue on it or something. I, I, I don't know. I asked $5. Let's go to. Explain to me. Explain to me the intricacies of abalone and mother of pearl. Por favor. Please. Okay. Here we go. We have a box clasp. Um, possibly red jasper. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing red jasper. Let's see if the black... Um, beads or anything yes so this is jasper and onyx you guys and it is very very pretty isn't that nice gorgeous this one has a drop of eight inches okay so I will do that one for ten I don't know what I asked before oh my gosh I remember this I wish this wasn't so um, short. Okay, here we go. It's a little peacock necklace. Isn't it so cute? All right, it is marked that it's sterling silver. It is not sterling silver. Wait till you see this clasp. Look at it. What does that say? Oh, it's marked silver. That's what my bag said and I didn't believe it. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? I just love this necklace, but it's not very long. Let's see. What are the measurements? Um, it's a seven and a quarter inch drop. Let's do a full. 
Someone needs to own this. It's so cute. So let's do a full on measurement to get it more accurate. Okay, guys, you got 15 and a half inch total length. Someone with a skinny neck, you can do it. 15, I asked 18, I'll go 12 actually, $12. I'm going by what I paid on that one. Okay, give me two seconds, you guys. I am going to, hello, Bryn. Oh boy, you're hanging out with a mom. Oh, I'm so excited you're hanging out with mommy. Guys, I'm coming back, I promise. I should have done this before I started filming. I don't have enough room today. I just don't have enough room. There's a lot of jewelry out here, you guys. I hope a lot of it's leaving. Nini. Brendan didn't get to go outside yet today, guys. I'm praying it's still light out when I make my way downstairs. Okay, my apologies. I am back. I am back in the saddle again. Back in my office chair again. Oh boy, did I knock you? <laughs> oh my God, oh, I snorted. Oh yeah, yeah. The Hot Mess Express. Okay, here we go. It looks like it was 25, but I marked it down to 10. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've got a little faux opal going on. It says it's genuine ruby and opal. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think we tested the ruby and it wasn't, and then I charged 10 bucks. All right, somebody take it. <laughs> what? What did I pay for this? You have got to be joking me. I paid that? You guys, oh, you guys, hold on two seconds, okay? I haven't been able to get a hold of honey all day. Hubby, sorry, hold on. I'm filming, are you alive? I, you, they haven't been coming through. I thought you were missing in action. The only thing that stopped me from calling the police was, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The only thing that stopped me from calling the police was I could see where you were on your text. Nothing came through. I was like, where is he? Mr. Prolific Texter. Okay, I have to go. I'm still filming. They're hearing everything I'm saying to you. All right. Okay, love you. Bye. Sorry, you guys. I meant to tell you that in the beginning. Helps is like a prolific texter. And I, like, have not been able to get a hold of him all day. I was getting slightly worried, but he, um, yeah, these are all stones. That's a citrine. This is really pretty. Eight and three quarter, you guys. Um, I think I asked 40 for this. Let's go 25. So I was going to tell you right when I started filming, if Hubs um, texts, I have to answer him. So he called, which is weird. He never calls. Okay, anyway. $2 on that one. And I definitely don't have time to edit today because, uh, yeah, I'm late. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have some black enamel cufflinks, three bucks. How do you guys do selling uh, men's stuff? Cufflinks and the such. Ooh, what's that? I want to see this. Guess what it is. Come on, can you guess what it is if I want to see it really badly? Oh yeah, it's a ring. <laughs> I have my little leak on today again. That makes you magnify my dry skin. Isn't that fantastical? <laughs> All right, here we go. Isn't this beautiful? Why didn't you guys buy this? Size eight, it's a good size. I'm surprised. I must have been charging too much. It's glass. Okay, glass size eight. Let's go. Hmm. $18. $18. My guess is I probably asked $30. $30. I don't know if we're getting to that other bin. Okay. We have a vintage adjustable ring. Look at that band. Nice job. Nice job, whoever made this. This is gorgeous. I love it. Okay, let's see. Um... How much are we gonna charge for that? Guys, I'm just gonna go five bucks. Somebody love it, five bucks, I hope you do. I am reaching so far. 
Alrighty, we've got some little gold tone hoopies. Those are nice. They're a nice shape. A little bit of light scratching. Two bucks. <gasps> what is this? Look at that. Oh, I love this. It's so cool. So this is part of um, abalone, I would think. And these, I believe, are called blister pearls. Or part of a mussel shell. I, guys, I don't know what the heck it is. It's part of a shell. It's very, very cool. I think I asked 10 for it. I'm going to go 8 bucks. Oh, boy. That's a good price. Okay. We have a gold tone cufflinks. Scratch right there. 3 bucks. So far, we've found lots of matches, and I'm very happy. I have this little, like, um, feather pendant thing um a dollar gold tone Brittany's hanging out with me I think she missed me today <gasps> guys the earring <laughs> I have been looking for this earring match you guys have no idea this single earring has been in my clear every time I grab clearance I take a, a bin and go over to the big bin and load the bin smaller bin and show you and every time I get this earring in it I've never found the match look at yay we've got some lever backs in a rose gold tone super pretty um acrylic two bucks those are new um nobody's ever worn them well that was exciting doesn't take much to excite me all right, we have a plastic vintage collar necklace. Isn't this cute? This is like, where are you, summertime? We need you back. Unless you're on the other side of the world. Other other hemisphere, I should say. Um, 15 and a half inch total length, you guys. Let's just do $5 on that one. Yeah, my friends over in New Zealand and Australia. You guys have summer right now. I heard it's very hot over there. Silver tone. I think it goes this way. What do you think? This way? I don't know. Silver tone. Looks like it's marked. Sarah Cove. Uh, $3. $3. And I can't go over on time today because, again, I am late. I am so late. Okay, what have we got? We have acrylic necklace. Chico's. Um, with a coin pearl. Some enamel something. Enamel? I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's supposed to look like mother of pearl. I don't know if it really is. It's pretty. Somebody buy it. <laughs> Four bucks. I gotta move stuff out so I can get new stuff in. Actually, I was really bad this week, you guys. I wasn't happy with what I had left for Amber. Like, I was like, you need some new stuff. So, yeah. I did some shopping for you guys. Oh, baby. I'm very excited. Okay, we have another Chico's. This is a nice one. Uh, Soda Light tassel -y stuff. I'm not showing very well today. Sorry about that. Soda light, gold tone. It's a long one. Let's do $5 on that one. That's in excellent condition, you guys. Okay, what is this? Looks like I charged $7 last time. It is Napier. Let's go five bucks. It's a brooch. <laughs> My chair is making so much noise. You guys got to tell me if you hear my no chair making naughty noises. Because I always think, oh my gosh, they're going to think that I'm making naughty noises. You know what I mean. Okay, not 925. Thank you for writing that, Julie. Julie of the past. <laughs> Julie of the past was on the ball. Happens every once in a while. <laughs> it's glass, you guys. It's super pretty. Super pretty, not sterling. It's a six and a quarter or so. Three dollars. Three dollars. You know, if I pull the table. Oh boy, it's okay, Brittany. I'm sorry. Baby, baby.
Baby, I promise. I promise. It's not going to fall. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, she was sound asleep. I just scared the bejeebas out of her. I'm sorry, baby. Oops. <laughs> All right. So the pendant is 925. The chain is silver plate. It's a snake chain. Eight inch drop. Uh, let's do $10. It looks like I might have asked 20 for that. I keep picking up those earrings and putting them down. I pick things up. I put them down. I've never even seen that commercial. I just heard people say it. We never outgrow grandma's love. Aw, this is Sterling. Super cute little slider. Uh, five bucks. Somebody give that to the Grammy. I have one grandma still living out of all of my grandparents, you guys. She just turned 93. Can you believe that? Yep. Her mom lived to oh, 100. I think she died at 100. I say died, guys, okay? I don't say passed away. I always try and catch myself and change it. I don't know why. I know it's just some people don't like it, but it's what happened. They died, right? I don't know. Okay, 925. <laughs> I always feel like I'm a jerk because I don't say passed away. Okay, there. You got a little, um, you just got into my brain. You guys just heard exactly what goes on in my brain. <laughs> I am very sorry. These are sterling. Eight bucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Silvertone clippy earrings. Very cute. A little bit of light scratching. They're not perfect. Two bucks. Okay. All right. These are the earrings that I keep picking up and putting down. How about we look at them? All right, I think we have some jade, and they are screw backs. And it looks like they are marked. Okay, so they are gold filled, and it looks like they're marked. Um, let's see what they are. It's very pretty stone. I'll show you up close. Whoa, I fell off. Do you know what I did, guys? Nephrite. Do you know what I did? <laughs> Three dollars. Well, it was at the grocery store. I bought myself roses. Can you believe it? I did. They're the prettiest color. I couldn't even not buy them. They're screaming at me. Take me home. They're a coral color. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, we have some blue faux opal and some purple stuff. This is vermeil, you guys. Gold over sterling. That is a glass stone. It is very pretty box chain. It's like an eight and a quarter inch drop. Super, super pretty. I don't know what that says. <laughs> All right, um, this is going to be, I bet I asked like 25. So let's go 18, $18. It's a nice one. I'm surprised that didn't sell too. Whenever I see something that I'm like, how come that didn't sell? Somebody should have bought that. It must be me with the price. All right. We have some gold tone dome earrings. These are nice. Posts. These should be signed. They're not. They should be. They feel like they should be. Is that? Oh, is that the 1928 scroll, scroll work in there? It might be. He's a little bent. Um. Okay, let's go... I asked five, I will go three. All right, what is this? Silver tone, need to look like the little vintage crystal necklaces, super pretty. It's a Y shape, uh, has a drop of almost nine inches, three bucks. Guys, I need to do clearance week for like, I don't even know, like another 10 weeks. I need to catch up on this clearance. It's bugging me. All right, is that where on this edge right here? Hold on. Yes. Okay, this edge has wear. This is acrylic. It's adjustable. Um, two bucks. It's very cool though. It's a vintage ring, by the way. And 
and we have some sterling. Oh, look, I see something that looks so nice. I don't even remember seeing that before. Sterling silver, marcasite, uh, size six and a half. Let's go 10. What, are, what is that? Oh, guys, why didn't you buy this? Can't believe it. Eek, I can't get in here. Come on. Okay. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? It's sterling silver. It's a little coin pearl. It does have a marking there, but I don't know what that is. Is that the dollar sign thing? I don't think so. Okay. Um, let's go 12. $12. It's a nice piece, you guys. Somebody grab that. I think this was Pink Adventuring. It's the big one. Let's go five bucks. I think I was asking eight. Okay. You will not be hiding your love of Jesus under a bushel with this cross, you guys. I'm not saying that facetiously. Um, there you go. Nice giant cross with a gold tone chain. Uh, let's go three bucks. Uh, all right. What are you? Okay. So I think these were RJ Graziano, but they're not marked. So I'm surprised one of you didn't buy these. Hmm. Do you know who you are out there? Paperclip chain, gold tone. Let's just do, what did I ask last time? I don't know. How about three bucks? Okay, we have some rose gold tone. Actually, that's a lie. It is rose gold vermeil. Okay, so it's rose gold over sterling. Using the entire extender, we have an eight and three quarter inch drop. <laughs> All right, it's not gonna tell us anything. <laughs> it's a Singapore chain. Um, what is, what on earth, what on earth are you right there? I gotta, I gotta put the tester on that thing. It's glass of some kind, you guys. It's really cool. Isn't that cool? All right, there it is. Sterling, uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Uh, what are you? Silver tone, a bracelet with some turtles and some fish and a sun, has a toggle. It has a length of seven and a quarter inches. Uh, a little bit of wear on it. How about a dollar? Okay. I keep <laughs> picking these up and putting them down too. What are they? Oh, okay. So we have a little bit of a faux pearl earring like that. One in like a yellow acrylic and then this guy who's a twofer <laughs> um the whole pile here two bucks and yes i'm stopping to put them in the bag i have to here we go uh-oh uh-oh sorry guys i felt it coming i knew it was gonna happen that's why i was going uh-oh all right so like some opalite uh, stick pin. Um, it's one of those ones that you could change. You could probably put different earrings on here. Is that what that's for? It's kind of cool, huh? I, I, ugh. I had asked eight. I'll go five. And what do we have now? Ew, we have a silver tone, new with tag, $34. Um, bracelet, magnetic. Doo -doo. Light scratch in there. Let's see what size you are, sir, ma'am, whatever. Uh-oh, that didn't work so hot. <laughs> I pushed it hard down on my mandrel and then it popped open. Good plan, Julie. Six and three quarter, you guys. Six and three quarter. It's very pretty. All right, let's do $3. Wow, 34 to three. Steals the deals, my friends. 
Okay, get some more numbers. All right, what is this? Another stick pen. There she be. I think that's acrylic. I asked six. I will go three. 50% off on that one. A real 50% off. Okay, we have a gold tone brooch. Super pretty vintage brooch. Let's see, what do we know? Signed question mark, two inch Coro. Oh yeah, it's probably signed but filled in a lot. Sometimes Coro, their gold tone and silver tone is just really heavy and you can barely, barely make out the Coro, you guys, but it's there. Can you see the C? Oh, there's the O. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I charged 12. Let's go eight. Coro, I find, does is the one that has that a lot, that the um, the plating or whatever, and it's not really plating, whatever it is. The manufacturing process fills in the name. All right, this is Sterling. I can't remember what it was. Brown County Baskets. Yeah, it's a charm. It is so cute, a little Adirondack chair. Let's go $5.00. So cute. Alrighty, what do we have here? A knot. A big old knot. Yep. Yep. Gold tone. On a gold tone chain. Two bucks. That's knotted. <laughs> uh, silver tone. Silver tone clippies in very nice condition. 35, no, 10 inch drop, that's not the right sticker. <laughs> Are they marks? I don't see a marking, two bucks. I did a lazy girl one, sorry, <laughs> through the bag. Lazy girl through the bag. We have a little stick pin, so cute, enamel, that's really cute. Not signed, I asked five, I'll go three. Some of you collect stick pins out there. If you don't, you should buy them all. <laughs> all right, so the wires of these are sterling. Um, the beads are not. Here you go. Okay. Uh, these are going to be uh, $3. Cheapies. Cheapy earrings. If you need sterling earrings, those are good buy. Okay, this is damaged, okay? What's wrong with you? I don't know. It's marked Kim. Why is it damaged? It was damaged, but it still has $10. Okay, so it must not be crazy damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Seven inch drop, you guys, $2. I'm not going to keep looking. It's metal or something heavy. It's not um, acrylic. I don't know what that was, actually. Okay, here we go. These are so cute. Look at those little dainty babies. Um, Let's see here. Okay, acrylic little stones. These are so cute. How about $3? $3. Okay, next, I'm avoiding that one. <laughs> it just doesn't look that fun. <laughs> Your goal is to show all of the jewelry, Jolie. All right, we're finishing the bin. There's probably about 12 pieces. This guy is beat up, <laughs> but he's so cute. A dollar. <laughs> he's seen better days. So my girl that does my nails was at a funeral today, so I had somebody else do them. I don't think she did a bad job. Okay, here we go. This is 925, it is rose gold. It's marked IBBCH. These are so pretty, aren't they? It's a size nine and a quarter. I had asked 14, I will go 10. Hold on, you're gonna ask me what these are, I know you are. They're glass, glass, you guys. I know if someone's gonna ask. Oh, I remember this thing, but I don't remember how it goes on. Hmm, this is new. 
Oh, I remember, I think. I think it goes like this. Yeah, it's a funky one. It's new, it's a ring, it's adjustable. I feel like that's how it went. <laughs> it's fun, two bucks. Pretty sure that's how it went. <laughs> All right, what is this? This looks pretty. Okay, I had asked $35 for this. It is vermeil. It is sterling, uh, gold over sterling. And we have some, I would say those are real opals, you guys. See how they don't, see how they look kind of fuzzy, not square glitter? That makes me think that they're real. Do you see how they're fuzzier? Does that make sense? That's what it makes me think. Seven and a quarter, I will go 25. $10 off, that's good. But there we go. What is this? Okay, well we learned some stuff with this, let's see. This is a size seven. Uh, it is malachite. It is sterling silver and it's from Atkinson Trading, I believe. Yep. Atkinson Trading Co. It looks like that. I had asked 55. I will go to 45. Okay. $45. Okay. Leave that there. We have another little wreath brooch. Castle Cliff. I had asked six, I will go two bucks. That's more than 50% off, you guys, more. <laughs> okay, what are these? I remember these. We were wondering if these were sterling and they were not, but they're really cute, aren't they? I don't know if that green was anything. They feel like acrylic. No, I lied. Hmm. Please hold. No clue. Here, guys, you make your own decision. Ready? Okay, here we go. Oops. Okay, come on. That's not where you went the last two times. Let's try this again. There we go. Maybe nephrite? I'm not sure. There you go. Make your own decision. Here they are. How about two bucks? Little studs, they're super cute. Uh, what are you? Whatever you are, I had asked $10 at one point. Oh, look at that. Vintage brooch, mother of pearl with some um, markings on it. That is cute. All right, I had asked 10, let's go five. Okay. We have some Pottery earrings, some ceramic, screw backs. Looks like somebody made them. Here we go. Probably on ceramics for all the rage. <laughs> a dollar. A dollar. Uh, okay, what's this? Sterling silver. Uh, it is a chain with a cross. It's marked. There it is, super pretty. What is the length? Okay, it's knotted, you guys. So it's gonna be longer than a nine inch drop, okay? There you go, how about $10? We have some post earrings, some little studs, silver tone, they have their backings. How about $2? And I have another pair of post studs, faux pearl. Well, I assume they're faux pearl. I'm sure they are. Yep, faux pearl in like a champagne color. Two bucks, gold tone by the way, for the post. If that matters to you. Alrighty, we have a little fishy brooch. It's a vintage brooch, it's marked. Crown Trafari. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think I asked like 12 for that. I will go to eight. Eight dollars. Okay. 
We have a little gold tune bracelet. Looks like a diamond cut rope chain. Super pretty. Marked Korea. It's a seven and a half, you guys. How about three bucks? Uh, we have an Avon necklace, possibly. Let's see. Oh, boy. We're knotted up. Let's see. Yep, Avon. Has little knots in it. Um, kind of almost has like a brassy color. It has a drop of eight inches. I don't know if it's wear or if it's supposed to be that brass color. Let's just go $2. It needs a wipe down too, guys. It feels slightly grimy. All right, we have a tree of life little piece. I think this probably went with like an origami owl kind of thing. It's not sterling. How about a dollar? Sure, somebody could do something with that. Uh, we have a bracelet with triangles. Gold tone. Who are you? Eeks. American Eagle. Come in at seven and a quarter. Some light wear. Nothing crazy. Three bucks. Could not, wait, no, <laughs> not could not. Clasp is not sterling. Okay, no problem. Remember they make their clasps out of stronger stuff. It's a Ross Simmons. This is so nice. It is like glittering. Woo, it's Vermeer, you guys. Gold over sterling. Let's see if these are anything we need to know about. I think they are all CZs, green CZs and clear CZs. It's seven inches. I had asked 20, I will go 15. Doo -doo. Oh, you guys, we're down to the bottom of the pile. Six more after this. We have a little Kiwi. I think he's from New Zealand. Mm, is that really a Kiwi? Now I'm second guessing myself. I had asked five, I will go two. <laughs> I'm totally second guessing myself. You guys do that? Hubs and I were just talking about that. How in our head we're about to say something and we have it. And then we say it out loud and we don't believe ourselves anymore. So frustrating. Isn't that cool? All right, I had asked 18. I don't know what this is. It is cool. It's cold to the touch. I don't know. Maybe some kind of turquoise. It's a six and three quarter. I will go $12 on that. It is sterling, by the way. Did I say that? That was sterling. This, on the other hand, is not. Gunmetal tone bracelet. There's this um, mark coming in at a seven. Cute little puffy hearts and a Figaro chain. How about three bucks? Guys, I feel like that might be sterling. How about we're not gonna do that? I'm gonna I'm gonna test it and let you guys know. <laughs> I looked at it more, I'm like, that's not really gunmetal, it's uh, patina. Okay, here we go. We have a gold tone a bracelet with some faux pearls braided. This one's in really nice shape, you guys. I think that's a Monet, Monet kind of clasp, but it's not marked, so maybe it is, maybe it's not. It's coming in at a seven. Three bucks. Other people besides Monet have done that though. Okay, this is a sterling silver hammered bangle. Ooh, whoever bought the thin one the other day, this one like goes with it. It's coming in at eight and a quarter. I had asked 20, I believe. I'll go 15. Someone needs that to stack up. And let's see. This is sterling silver, a little sterling silver cross. How about five bucks? Um, hold on, I wanna show you this. It's a thinner one, just so you know what you're getting, okay? Oh boy, that's acrylic. <laughs> All right, last one, my friends. I have been putting this aside since the beginning because I'm like, what is in there? It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I know what happened here. 
<laughs> I didn't like this chain, so I was gonna take that and put it on this chain, which was brilliant. I don't know why it has that on it, but I didn't do it. Okay, so it has a drop of six and three quarter inches. Holy guacamole. All right, if anybody wants to take that on, two bucks. Two dollars. All right, you guys, we did it. All right, so tomorrow is our purse sale. Everything $15 or less. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna do all sterling, okay? So I will see you tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern. Bye.